Well, we are really climbing out of the deep freeze. Temperatures cracking 20 today for the first time in 10 days, and we only go up from here. Mild weather sets in and sticks around into the foreseeable future. We do have a couple of storm systems to talk about, though. The first one brings maybe a wintry mix Thursday, and then a more interesting one potentially next week. So already temperatures were off and running early this morning. Uh, the lows from last night happened about 8, 9, 10 p.m. Uh, on Monday evening when normally that happens just before sunrise after the longest period of darkness through the night. But already 8 to 30 degrees warmer earlier this morning. Warm air really sets in the warmest of it the next couple of days. We could be close to 40 in the Twin Cities in southeastern Minnesota. And these are showing temperature anomalies right through next week. We're mostly above normal for the uh, foreseeable future, which in the meteorological world goes out to about January 10th at this point. So high temperatures today, a little bit above normal, mostly 20s across the state, but even warmer tomorrow. We're going to climb above freezing. Looks like uh, mid, maybe upper 30s, even a shot at 40 tomorrow. Uh, good chance of it in southeastern Minnesota tomorrow and Thursday. But we already have the developing system coming in for Thursday. Pressure gradient tightening up. These the yellow lines here, those isobars, the lines of pressure. It's a little breezy today out of the south. Uh, and low pressure off to the west in Montana is going to be slowly moving eastward and allowing the clouds to really thicken up later today into tomorrow. So already Wednesday evening, we could see a few rain showers. Now this might be in the form of some freezing precip. We'll talk about it in a second, but a very narrow swath of snow develops Thursday. Right now, the model's favoring more central and western Minnesota, but yesterday that was more northwestern Minnesota. So there's a trend showing kind of a wobbling of that uh, snow track potentially. So here's the North American model. Now, this model is the most icy at this point. It does have a cold bias, and it's all going to come down to surface temperatures. It's creating some freezing rain Wednesday night because temperatures in the NAM model are below freezing pretty much statewide, but the European model is much warmer with some pockets of sub-freezing temperatures in west central Minnesota. Most of the models agree on a warmer uh, probably evening and overnight, and that's likely what will happen in this cloudy warm period. Uh, either way though, it's going to be mild Thursday 30s to near 40 degree temperatures, and as I mentioned, that narrow swath of snow developing mostly central and western Minnesota, though the NAM model is a little further east and pushes that snow band to our east. So Twin Cities could be on the edge of this accumulating snow Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. Then a mild, quiet weekend for the most part, but we're talking about another storm possibly on Monday, January 2nd into Monday night. And the model's varying on the track of this. We might be on the cold side if the European model's right, and that means snow. Uh, but the American and Canadian models have us on the warm side. This could be a rain system Monday into Monday night next week, but also very mild temperatures. So in blue are the average of all the models extended through January 10th or 11th. Orange is the average high, and you can see we are at or above normal right through that second week of January. So definitely no sub-zero temperatures in sight and a nice break from that for a while, it looks like. So about 27 today, that's about two degrees above normal. Upper 30s to close to 40 tomorrow and Thursday. I wouldn't be shocked if we do it one of those days. Uh, rain and snow showers possible again Wednesday night into Thursday. Maybe some snowfall late Thursday, but better chance of that the way it looks now, just to the west of the Twin Cities. And then uh, mild through the weekend. New Year's Eve, 38. And could have some snow showers that night, but doesn't look like a major system at this point. Uh, bigger chance of precip with that system on Monday.